Hello everyone, I am making an old-fashioned caramel icing to go on a cake today. Let's turn around here to the stove. Right here in this pot, I have three and one half cups of sugar, one cup of milk, and two sticks of unsalted butter. And I need to cook this until it starts boiling. And then over in this little cast iron skillet, I have one half cup of sugar, and I'm going to caramelize that. Okay, let's take a look here. I've got my heat on. That's starting to boil. I'm going to go ahead and turn this up to maybe about medium high. Let's let this sugar start melting. Okay, this is boiling. Let me get it stirred up real good. Maybe let it boil just a minute. And then we're going to take it off of the heat and wait on this sugar to, to melt. And then we'll pour the sugar in here. Okay, this is looking really nice. I'm going to go ahead and take this off and sit it back here. It will just be waiting for me to pour this melted sugar into it. Let me get me a little pot holder here. So we're just going to keep this stirred until this sugar melts real good. All right, here is our caramelized sugar. We're going to start pouring it into our milk mixture. And it's bubbling up. That's what it's supposed to do. I know we're kind of looking at the back side of this here. Okay, so we've got that poured in there. Now let's stir this up good. Now we're supposed to cook this until it reaches 230 degrees on a candy thermometer. Put out my little whisk here, kind of stir this up. Whisk some. Try to get that sugar stirred in here like it needs to be. This is making a beautiful caramel color. Yeah, you can see it. Okay, let me get my little candy thermometer. I don't use a thermometer most of the time, but this is saying that I need a reading of 230 degrees, so I guess I'm going to use a thermometer for this. I don't use a thermometer whenever I'm making my candy, but I'm going to have to for this. Okay, let's see what it's going to read here. It's going to go up to 230 just right quick like. I mean, look, yep, 230 is what it needs to be. 24, 224, that's where we're at. 225, 226, 227, 228, 229, 
230. Okay, there we go. Let's get it off the heat. Okay, now I need to stir in one teaspoon of baking soda and two teaspoons of white vinegar. Let's move over to the counter. All right, now you know if you mix baking soda and vinegar together, you have a chemical reaction and it just starts bubbling and going crazy, right? So I guess we're going to see what happens here. That's what I'm going to mix together here. Okay. Let me, pour my, let me pour this vinegar over the sink and put it in a bowl so I don't over measure here. All right, got that. Okay, so here we go. Vinegar. Okay, ain't nothing going crazy here yet. That's good. And then baking soda. Okay, we didn't have anything bubble up and go crazy. Let's get this stirred in here. Now, what I'm supposed to do is let this set and cool for about 20 minutes and then beat it. Yeah, it's kind of foaming and bubbling now. You can see that. And then beat it until it's the consistency that I want the icing to be. Get this stirred up real good. It is hot today. It's 81. Today is December 31st. We're, we're supposed to be in winter time, but it is burning up. All right, we're going to let that cool just a little bit. All right, I've let the icing cool just a little bit. Now I'm going to start beating it with the mixer. And once it gets to the consistency that I want it to be, I'm going to have to put this cake together really quick before my icing gets too cool and hardens up and won't pour and won't spread. So here we go. vintage Tupperware cake plate in Harvest Gold color. Look, Cody, here is my frosting knife that I got for 25 cents at the thrift store. Okay, let's pour some of this on here. Woohoo! This is beautiful. Wow! Oh my! Cody told me that Having a frosting knife would make it so much easier. All right, here we go with cake layer number two. Let's pour 
pour some turn my icing on that. See with this icing being still runny, it'll just run over the top of this cake and then down the sides and you don't have to do a whole lot of spreading. Okay, here's our last layer going on. We're putting it together very quickly. And that is what we need. I think I have more than enough icing. All right. I really didn't hardly have to even spread this. Can y'all see that? Yeah. Because it's running over the sides so well. Okay, that has got our cake iced. Let me clean it up just a little bit. Now, I'm not going to wait until after supper to try to cut a piece of this and taste it. I'm fixing to cut a piece and taste it right here live on camera. <laughs> And see what this tastes like. I'm so curious to know about this buttermilk cake with this caramel icing. Okay. Now, this frosting knife has a has a sharp edge on it, so I am supposing that that is what I can cut this cake with. Some of this caramel icing on here. So it's like this is going to be a delicious ooey gooey mess. <laughs> okay, let me give me a spoon. And try this out. here in front of the camera so you can see it. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Libby, this is delicious. Mmm. Thank you, Libby, for this recipe. Okay, folks, we'll see you next time.